Welcome back to my channel. I'm Lacquer Lover, and today's video is a very special video. It's actually sponsored, I guess, by BT Cosmetics, which is the cosmetics brand that collaborated with BTS to create like skincare lines as well as makeup and um, like a perfume line. And they also have like toothbrushes and stuff like that. So a bunch of very cool items. Basically, I have the newest products here. That's the BTX BTS Hand Collection, and. So yes, the actual name is BTX BTS Latelier de Soutils um, Signature Hand Collection and I basically died when they asked me if I wanted to review this and I could not, I was dying, um, especially since I had known so many people that really wanted it and in this video I will be sharing all the information that I do know about these products um, now that it's now that they have been released um, publicly and they started releasing pictures of these like a bit before the actual release date um, which was September 27th which was last Friday and so their um, pop-up store in Seoul in Lokte department store in Myeongdong opened on the 27th and it runs until October 6th and today is October 1st here in um, Eastern Standard Time but it's October 2nd in Korea and I'm sure they will be making rounds to other cities and they will be selling these. Um, I feel like they'll be easier to sell um, because they're not like completely liquid as in the perfume um, but I don't have information about that. <laughs> That's just my hutch right now and yes I am really really excited about this these hand creams have the same scent as the perfumes so they correspond with the same number and so they're not new scents but they're supposed to be like lighter and in hand cream form so they're going to be moisturizing and we'll be focusing on that in today's video and I'm just really really excited to review these new products um, since I have known about them for a bit and now I'm finally able to talk about them. Yeah, I'm really, really, really excited. So, uh, let's just get into this box. I'm really, really, really excited to open it. Oh. Well, actually, before I do that, the side says BT Cosmetics, think your teeth once again. And the flip side says that as well. And I will actually open it now. They are so nice. I honestly can't believe it. Like, yes. <laughs> okay. Let's open this up. I have seen other people's boxes at this point, and I just. Holy cow. Oh my. They did not. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, I'm trying not to scream. Holy cow. Okay. Here's a little wrap. Well, okay. So, oh my god, I cannot believe I'm holding it right now. Okay, so we have the clear cards, which I did receive um, with the products that I reviewed last time for them, which was season one of the BTX BT21 collection. And they're here. Um, okay, so I, I might leave these um, because I've already gone through them in the past video, and I'll link that in the info cards. I've shown it twice now, so I'm just going to get into the hand creams, which I am beyond excited to open and review for you guys. But this is like a way more affordable way to get all the scents, and they're also more wearable because like how often can you wear like seven seven cents of perfume i feel like it's more wearable in hand cream hand cream form and it's also perfect for winter because it's getting drier and you want to stay moisturized so that your skin is not like irritated um so yes and the perfumes were released in may of this year so it's been five months actually well, like four or five months since the release so I just think it was like a really good time to release it um and this box is super pretty this is actually one of the cards that you can get in the card set that comes with the perfume and it feels so luxurious what the heck I'll also link in the info cards and also in the description box I did go through the cards um and this was like the first image that you see so yes um, for hand, for size reference this is how big it is um, okay and flip it over it has some information about this collection and so um, 
you guys can read that BTX BTS Latelier de Soudos um, signature hand collection. Sorry if I butcher any French. I am not French and I don't know French, so I'm trying, but I will most likely be wrong. Signature hand cream blended with Latelier de Soudo signature perfume, which gently and softly wrap dry skin while fulfilling the moment with abundance of scent. Um, and these are in the instructions, precautions, and the ingredients. Um, and just looking. At the ingredients, I see this thing from lab. Um, anyways, it's just something that I remember from my lab. <laughs> but I see some like really good um, ingredients in here, including jojoba. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, different types of oils and stuff. I would assume that some of these give the each of the scents, you know, a different scent. And yeah, so the box looks like this, and it's really cute. <laughs> like. Holy cow, this is just, this is perfect for display on its own. I am shook. <laughs> so, yes, I also really like how they use white. Like, white is a really big component component of BT packaging. And I appreciate that. I think it's very aesthetic. And I actually don't get that many things with, like, just white packaging. So, very unique in my opinion. At least amongst the things that I own. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. Oh, holy cow, the tubes are bigger than I expected. They're actually really big. Um, holy cow. Holy, holy cow. Oh my god, I'm just... I'm really... I can't believe it's happening right now. I'm going to be professional. Okay. <laughs> First one here. Oh my... Oh, they're in age order. Okay, we're going to go in the proper order. Let's get it. Okay. Number one is this yellow scent, which is Jimin's powder scent. I, I think in Korean it's like pudahu or something. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really struggling. This packaging is so cute though. Like it just goes with that whole white aesthetic, but it's actually bigger than I thought. The tube I thought it was going to be about like this long and then this skinny, but it's actually pretty wide and pretty long. So it holds some product in there. So this entire set with all seven of the hand creams, this is, I believe, the only way you can purchase it, which is in the set. Um, it costs 40,000 South Korean won, which is equivalent to like $39.89, about $40. That actually just means $5.70 US dollars. That is super good um, and a really reasonable price for hand creams. Really good for a retail price. Um, okay, so let me just peel this off and take a whiff of this i have smelled this one i have the perfume i smelled all of these before because they had like sample rollerball tube things at the pop-up um back in july when i purchased the first set so um, i'm just going to compare it to then mm, this is actually it in my opinion it smells a little bit different from the perfume it smells not vastly different but i guess it's just more subtle um so it's not like smack in my face like really really sweet um and I'm just going to put them on various points of my hand and excuse the hair on my hand. <laughs> oh my god, actually this cream is like thicker than I thought it would be. I feel like I've used like very watery hand creams. My favorite one I don't have anymore. It's the Lacotane, Lacotane Cherry Blossom scent. Um, it's really thick as you can see. And ooh, if... It feels really moisturizing, and I think it has to do with that thickness. It definitely smells different from a perfume, and I mean, like, hand creams and perfumes react differently with your skin, and they have different functions, so I can see why that is happening. Yeah, I mean, it's really sweet, um, and we can, like, read the description on here. Oh, it doesn't say. It's pow... The keywords are power, ambery, and uh, mysterious, and the notes are clover, uh, bergamot, geranium, heliotrope, clove, vanilla is a big one, sandalwood I can smell, the other ones I'm not really sure what they are, sorry. But I would say like a lighter version of the perfume. For the perfume, it's just kind of like... For perfume, I feel like you can smell different hints of it more distinctly because I just think that like different parts of the perfume attack different parts of your nose at different times, but this one is more like uniform. Yeah, 
it's more uniform, it's lighter, it's not as in your face super sweet. Because I know that that was one of the complaints about Jimin's powder scent or any sort of powdery vanilla scent. And next we have a very light one. And yes, so yeah, um, the packaging is the same, so I'm just going to get right into trying them out. Put it right here. I don't know if it's because I had a bagel for breakfast today, but this reminds me of cream cheese. <laughs> yeah, um, I think use my index finger, so we'll use that. So, ooh, hmm, it's very floral. Um, oh my god, my hand is going to smell so good after this, and it's just going to be crazy moisturized. Hmm. Hmm, I swear it smells different as a perfume. Or just like, like I said, it just reacts differently and like you smell different things. I swear, it kind of reminds me of like a Bath and Body Works scent. It's more like nature-y. It smells, oh, I swear. I swear the perfume cotton smells very like sweet, you know, kind of like the smell of your laundry, like fresh laundry. But this one smells more fresh, like refreshing nature flowers yeah I, I smell this slightly like citrus scent to it more floral some not just like a mellow sweet scent but like something with, with a little give and like a punch to it it says apple melon uh, plum violet rose I can smell those scents like it's pretty pretty strong mm, yeah it's very like refreshing either way um it smells really good and yeah like if I could buy these separately I feel like I would have fallen in love with Jin's um black currant white musk um like this cedar wood sandalwood yeah cool okay okay so that is Jin's cotton and I actually really like that one out of these two so far I like cotton more um yeah, but they're supposed to be the same scent. Don't get me wrong. They are they are supposed to be the same scent. Okay, so this one is citrus. Blonde is like a very similar color to cotton, but kind of like a deeper, dusty pink, perhaps. The keywords are citrus, fresh, energizing. Fragrance notes are lemon, nutmeg, algae, white musk, pine, parsley. Let me just put this one here. Since we have seven, I could do some other ones on my other hand. They're all white. Um no you know color difference there okay let's smell this mm. Mm. i could smell some like similarities between citrus and cotton which is odd i guess unexpected there's like i feel like it's kind of the same base but then citrus has like a stronger citrus scent whatever citrus e thing that i smelled in the cotton one but the citrus one is very like attacks your like olfactory senses like um fruity i guess like this one is probably the strongest one out of all the ones we tried i will do it again i believe i was using my pinky yeah this one i believe is the strongest out of the three we've tried so far. okay next one is uh namjoon aram's uh Bwa. So the keywords are woody, warm, elegant, and for fragrance notes, we can expect coriander, juniper, amberet seed, lavender, uh, cedarwood. Can't pronounce that one. Um, and his is kind of like a brown for the font. And I would love to try this with the perfumes, like. That was actually one of the suggestions, uh, if I'm going to be completely honest. That was one of the suggestions, uh, but I don't have the perfumes here with me. I would love to try the hand cream like for ocean and uh, powder with the perfume. Uh, maybe I will do that, and you guys can check that out some other time when I do post that. Post about it. Okay. I'm just going to do a little bit because I don't have enough space on this hand. Um, we'll just spread that out right there. Do you guys see how, like, shiny my hand is? Like, that is how good it is. The skin cells are like, yes, I am breathing and thriving. Oh my god, this is so light. I, 
Oh my god, it's like I didn't even put it on. Holy. Wait, let's put more. Okay. Yeah, these are super subtle. So apparently if you put just that pea size amount, you can't really smell it. But like, okay, we're just gonna rub more on. Oh my god, Namjoon's is so subtle. Oh my god, I swear. Holy cow, I was not expecting that. Well, I can kind of see where like the elegance comes from because you could barely smell it. Um, but that's not like a bad thing. This set reminds me of like a fancy lady in a fancy gown, like for gala. It smells fancy, but I swear it doesn't smell as manly as the perfume, if you can even genderize the perfume. It is super, super light. I really recommend this one if you are not a fan of strong scents, because this one is barely there. And it's barely there in a good way because it does have that kind of like elegant feel that makes sense. Like there's nothing super fruity, super floral about it. It's just kind of those more mature scents that you smell in like adult <laughs> that you can't exactly like even explain what it smells like. Then that's why I'm struggling right now. But yeah, so far we're doing okay. And the next one is Vert, and obviously it has to be green, and this one is Suga's scent. And the keywords are green, cozy, intense. And the fragrance notes we can expect sweet orange, coconut, rosewood, vanilla, patchouli, cedarwood, sandalwood, tonka bean, and moss. And so, yes. For the perfume, this one was slightly tinted. Um, I don't think this is going to be, you know anything other than white and I don't think it is so I'm going to plop it right here just a small amount um, and we're going to see if it needs more so let's just blend that right in blends right in and is moisturizing my hand like crazy um, yeah this one is maybe like 10 15 times stronger than Namjoon's so not really for those who aren't fond of strong scents, but this one is very warm, very cozy, kind of like heavy, I guess. Like that's how I would describe a warm and cozy scent. This reminds me of like a model, like uh, the perfume section at Macy's or a magazine. It's, yeah, I swear, the best way to describe this is the perfume section at Macy's at Herald Square in New York City. Or like a magazine perfume and that's not necessarily a bad thing it just means that it's like a very popular common scent um, and it just smells like nature but like a warmer nature that doesn't mean that it smells bad or anything it's just like a different version and it's really hard to differentiate in my opinion in hand cream form and I could try it again until I get like more of a grasp on it there are defi there's definitely like citrus and floral hints in there, um, I cannot deny that, but to me it smells, I don't know why, but this one is like the perfumiest one to me. This one is like up there. And I think citrus I said was really perfumey, or like cotton was pretty strong. I think these ones are like pretty good. This one is definitely the lightest one. Um, okay, and we have musk. So musk is another pink, and this one is an even dustier pink, um, and this one is V's scent. So I'm going to plop that in this little area here. And musk I did not really like as a perfume, so we're going to try this out. And I'll go ahead and just rub this in. Okay, I'm going to put more. It seems that layering, like putting them, putting more on is like a good... Thing. It's also good because you're like being even more moisturized, I guess. Oh, actually, this one's a very light one. It's not strong like Vert. Vert is really up there. But in my opinion, this one kind of smells like Vert. It's like a, it's very similar to Vert, but lighter. Definitely in the same realm as Vert. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really trying here. I hope my descriptions help. Um, and helping you kind of understand what they smell like as hand creams because I swear they smell different. Um, okay, so then we have this purple font and that's Ocean, which is Jungkook's scent. I do have his perfume and I would love to layer them and try that out, but I can't right now. So the keywords, the keywords are aqueous, ocean, breezy, 
the fragrance notes are uh, this thing that we've seen a lot. Lily, algae, rose, moss, and cedarwood. Okay, so this was my favorite perfume. So, I don't know. I, I'm kind of hoping this is my favorite hand cream. But I have a lot to choose from now, and that's incredible. Let's just use the thumb, since I know I haven't used it. Just rubbing it in with some chicken noodle soup. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. They probably all smell like their perfume, but this one is. I just really remember that scent. It has to be it. That's it. This one smells... Oh, this reminds me of my perfume back at home. It smells so good. Oh my god. Okay, so this one is another one of those kind of like magazine-y scents. Like a sample you get in a magazine, but an extraordinary one. It has floral, like, hints, and do I smell the ocean? I smell kind of like what you would picture to be the ocean, except the ocean's actually really salty. You know what I mean? Like, a really beautiful image of the ocean with the crystal clear water. It's like that right amount of strong. I, if I were to compare, I would definitely almost put it up there with vert and citrus and maybe cotton. So, I believe all of them are white, and they did not leave any, like, you know, it's just hand cream. I'm pretty sure they were not tinted. So I will go ahead and like order them right now just based off of like how strong they are. I know that Bois is definitely the end. That is my order of how strong these scents are. Uh, strongest to lightest. So yes, the middle might be mixed up, but I definitely know that those two are right. Like Vert and Bois, they're the ends of the spectrum. So if you like very kind of heavier, refreshing, natural scents, this one, uh, Namjoon's Bois is a very light, elegant scent. It's a very hard scent to describe, but obviously all of them come in this set. So if you are going to buy the hand cream, you will get all seven of them. And I think it's really nice to be able to try out the scents. Yes, like look at this amazing packaging. I cannot stop gushing over it. And I really, really liked um, how BTS collaborated with BT for this. And there's, you know, introduction videos that you can watch in order to learn more about how they created the scents to match the personalities of each member. It's so personalized and customized to fit BTS. And it, it, that feels very genuine. And you know, as a fan, I'm very appreciative of that kind of genuineness or uh, whatever you call it. So, yeah. Um, so, thank you to BT Cosmetics for reaching out to me once again. And thank you to all of my fans for making this possible. Yeah, this is just a really cool collection, very fitting for a season right now. I wish BT Cosmetics and BTS best of luck in the future business endeavors. So yeah, that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed my review. Bye everyone! I couple you and love you. I'm sucked up for Toto. Bye bye bye.